what it is guys I'll be doing a new thing called reddit reactions I'll be reacting to uh, these videos of reddit posts so this one is by toad films and it's called people who fix computers what's the worst thing you found let's get started people who fix computers slash laptops what's the worst thing you found on someone's computer 15 plus toolbars that took up half the screen oh boy the last company i worked for i got a laptop back from one of the sales guys who was complaining that his computer was slow and kept crashing he was the sort of guy who, rather than raise a ticket, sends an email with the entire exec team copied in about how he couldn't do his job, because it were incompetent, etc, etc. Well, I got his laptop from him, and noticed the hard drive was completely full. Most of the sales stuff is web based, so there was no reason for the local drive to have anything on it. Uh, I could already guess what he had stored in his computer. So, I had a look. Expertly hidden on his hard drive in a folder, called work stuff was over 300 GB of naked pictures and videos of himself. Literally thousands of pictures of him naked. Videos of him dancing naked. Videos of him shoving things in his ass. One extremely awkward meeting with a guy. Well, that would have been really hard to watch. Guy's manager later, he was quietly let go. The inside of a heavy smoker's computer is beyond disgusting. It creates a fine orange eye film that coats every single internal component, smells wretched, and will become a noxious cloud if you try and blow it off. Just go outside to smoke. Seriously. Father-in-law got a new computer and wanted stuff transferred over. His old computer had viruses and ran like shit. Due to this, I tried to figure out what actually needed transferring, rather than just transferring everything, after cleaning it up. Stumbled upon pictures of him in drag and him getting a dildo shoved up his ass. Why do people insist on large thumbnails? Why? Couple of things, I found a dead rat inside a PC one time. Customer couldn't fathom why it shorted out. Thing was like- How does a rat get into a computer? <laughs> A mummy too. Old 90 year old dude comes in with a computer. Comes in with a computer. Pop it on the tester slash hook it up to a monitor and his background is the most hardcore gay porno ever. There are like 10 customers waiting in the shop. So I quickly just turned the monitor off. Swap the desktop background out in the back. And did the work. Was at an old couple's house backing up all their pictures. And those two old folks had some nasty self filmed amateur porn on there. So many gray pubes. Had a customer come in. Yeah, th that's even worse th than the one with the guy with naked videos of himself. And be like I don't know why my computer isn't working. Load up the desktop and there's tons of malware. I ask what kind of sites he goes to so I can coach him on how not to get infected again. And like clockwork a bunch of malware pop-ups start flashing and playing the ad sensitive song. Took everything in me to just hold it together. All the other things are par for the course. Shittily hidden porno folders labeled innocuously. Like I'm not gonna see some random folder labeled beach stuff that weirdly has like 3TB in it. While I'm backing up your files. Web history is to Nazi sites. Married dudes in 90... Nazi sites? Well, I can't, couldn't imagine what those are. ...percent of their history is Craigslist hooker links. I mean, you work in it for like 10 years nothing surprises you anymore. Had the FBI come in one time and take a computer that we were fixing. One lady just left her kid, two year old, at the shop. After dropping the computer off for like 3 hours till CPS came and there was a giant brawl in the waiting area. Somebody took a dump on the floor in our line one time. All in all, it was a crazy crazy job. Buddy on my floor freshman year worked at the college help desk. A guy, who I actually knew through another friend, brought his computer in to get fixed. He was adamant about saving what was on the hard drive. My buddy saw some interesting file names and decided to look further. It was kiddie porn. Dude went to jail. My oh, so he had child porn on his computer. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he did go to jail. My buddy had to testify at trial. 
asked my coworker asked me to fix his computer and I agreed, since he was a nice guy. It turns out it was actually his 13 year old son's computer. Oh, I already know where this is headed. As soon as I got it, I knew it was a bad idea, it was disgusting, covered in food particles and a white crusty residue I'm hoping wasn't Pratinges. But I think it was. It wouldn't even boot up when I turned it on, but I managed to get inside with Windows Startup Repair. As soon as I logged in, I saw dozens of torrented video games and How would you know that those games are torrented? Hundreds of GBS of porn. Oh boy, I ran a virus scan, and it removed so many files that it corrupted the hard drive and prevented the laptop from booting. So, you just ran a virus scan and it ruined his computer, so <laughs> you ruined his computer. I spent over 20 hours trying to recover the hard drive, but it was royally fucked. I gave the laptop back to him after I was able to get it booted and agreed to stop fixing PCS on the side. Not on, but in. A guy I know that fixed computers for a living, years ago, had a customer bringing a computer stating that the floppy drive had stopped working. When he opened it up he found cockroaches mashed against the read slash write heads in the drive. He said he just closed it up and left it on the front step for the guy to come and retrieve. Windows Vista. My friend's dad. Huh. Well, Windows Vista did suck used to fix up old computers and laptops and one day he told us about this time this elderly man came into his shop to get his old desktop fixed so he drops it off and immediately my friend's dad notices it smells off and i mean very off so he goes to fix it and when he pops open the side i should you not 20 cockroaches climb out of this thing and scatter away on the inside is this rotten piece of meatloaf left over which has turned moldy black and gross my friend's dad said and he almost threw up in the moment, and they had to call an exterminator to Yeah, I would have almost thrown up too. To kill the roaches. Well, if you remove the almost. He called the elderly man back to tell him about his computer troubles. Apparently the old man had dementia or something, and thought the computer was a fridge, and he had stored his leftover meatloaf in there. Needless to say, they did not fix his computer. I worked for my university's a department in the laptop depot, so we basically would do any repairs on students slash faculty slash staff's laptops. We had this really solid warranty with Dell where they were 100% covered for 4 years, even including intentional misuse. We saw all sorts of laptops full of dust, smoke, beer slash wine slash liquor. They would always say they spilled juice on their laptop. I. <laughs> Well, they spilled the creamy white juice on their laptop. Got to the point where I could replace a motherboard on a Latitude D630 in under 5 minutes. The only time I ever saw a laptop that we refused to repair was one dude who barfed all over his. My boss just put on rubber gloves, put it in a plastic bag, and mailed it to Dell to be replaced. At my old job some kid, prob 17 or 18 at the time, brought in his Asus gaming laptop for us to clean up. The thing was riddled with malware. Some of the files we had to manually delete, and when we went looking we found something interesting. He had hours of sex tapes with him and his girlfriend. Also keep in mind that- Well, well since you said that he was probably 17 or 18, if he and his girlfriend were 17, that would be considered child porn, and that would be illegal for him to be having on his computer. That this is when Windows 8. One was new, and he photo tile on the start menu cycled through saved content. When the kid came to pick up the laptop the photo zap showed a preview pic with his GFS ass and his penis clearly inside her. We quickly flipped the laptop around claiming that we forgot to re-enable something and turned off the live tile feature so that the pics would show up. None of us that worked on the laptop said a thing to the kid or his dad when they came to pick it up. <laughs> I, I would have told them everything. A crusty old man walked into the shop with a look in his eyes like a child who just stole from the cookie jar. The year is 2007. Well, maybe he stole from your shop. 17. But he asks me if I can burn a CD for him.
<laughs> Man, you don't just go around telling people to burn your CDs. Because what if they actually burn it? I'm confused, but I indulge the customer's request. Yeah, you indulge in setting his CD on fire. I ask him what he wants burned to the CD. He simply points to a folder, titled New Folder by Instinct. I double click, and in that moment, what little innocence I had left died. Inside that indescribable folder, hundreds of pictures of what I'm assuming is wife in what can only be described as explicit positions. <laughs> Wait, and then at the beginning it says <laughs> a crusty old man. <laughs> uh. I'm sure she is a fine lady, but H has not been kind to her. The lack of hygiene and poor diet didn't help either. <laughs> yeah, she was probably crusty and old too. <laughs> Frozen in place, I slowly turn my head to the old man's gaze, only to be met with a simply indescribable grin and a slow nod. Never before in my life. Has I been that afraid? Dis uh, that, that would have been really creepy. Gusted and stunned, but I had a job to do. I grabbed a dusty old 700 MB CD and burned those images to its form. It was done. The transaction was made, but I was robbed of my innocence and of my sanity. I don't fix computers, but my parents gave me a task of fixing the family computer. Few clicks here and there, and I ended up on my sister's other Facebook account. She was selling her <laughs> Facebook self over on FB. She posted her prices and schedule. She also had 100 plus messages from guys asking to meet up. I felt Oh, so she's a prostitute. So sick. I told my dad, expecting him to talk to her about it. He ended up kicking her out that night. Our family hasn't been the same since then. Underscore underscore underscore. My friend has a 10y slash show brother who wanted his computer fixed. It wasn't anything major, and all I had to do was clear and back up his files. I then decided to clear his history, because that can sometimes be a thing that slows your computer down. So I opened it. There was a ton of porn in his history, mainly really messed up hentai. Uh, what kind of 10 year old wants to watch porn? Worst of all, he caught me looking at this shit. He got mad at me, and we never brought it up again. My brother works on laptops, and one time a guy came in to get Windows 8 put on his computer. This man was a old family friend, and while he was backing up files he found a video of the man's daughter. I won't go into details of what it is, for the sake of keeping my blood pressure down. But my brother immediately alerted the authorities and the man is now serving a 12 year prison term. Has just lucky my brother was at his place of business, or I believe he would have killed him instead of calling the law. I worked for a repair center for a few years. Most of the time it was usually like a family man with a hidden gay folder. Nothing wrong with that, but you could tell the wife and stuff didn't know. Found bestiality maybe once or twice. Both times were great days at work, because the jokes were cranked to high those days. We found underage stuff only one time. We had this dude that came in all the time, and he was weird as fuck. He looked like a stereotypical pedo you'd see on TV. He had long... Uh, so, so he looks like Herbert the pervert? Greasy hair. Always wore sweatpants with Jane shorts over top and a short sleeve polo with a sweater underneath. It was the strangest... Oh. Well, that, that's much different. Just fucking jet up ever. Anyway, he would come in every six months or so to have his PC worked on. And when we asked for the password to get into it, he would refuse. Well, how do you expect them to fix your laptop if if they can't get into it? So our only option would be for format the drive and reload the OS. So we did that every six months for like two years. One day he comes in and tells us not to wipe and reinstall this time and that he took the PW off the computer because he needs the data this time. We go through and get rid of the ad where he kept complaining about. But I was curious now. So I went to his drive directory and typed JPG PNG into the drive search which then locates all those extensions. Sure enough, it's what we all thought. So we called the cops and had them wait in the building the day he said he Oh no, he had... he must have had child porn in his computer. ...was going to pick the machine up. 
used to work at a small computer repair shop. Every now and then you'd find porn or something like that, nothing too unusual. The worst part was usually the physical state of the machines. As a courtesy, the shop I worked for would always blow the dust out of systems that came in. Smoker's computers were the worst. Years of tar and dust build up just would not come loose. There was one system that, as soon as we opened it, we saw dozens of roaches in inside. We quickly closed up the case, taped up all openings, stuck it in a bag. I uh, wonder how roaches could, you know, climb into computers. And fumigated it. There was this other time, that an customer brought their system in for weird performance issues. Turns out that their cat puked round the side vent all over the motherboard. Customer wanted to pay for us to clean it, rather than replace it. I used to work for a Native American tribe and the tribe's lawyer was an ass who demanded to be waited on hand and foot. One day I was surfing through the program we used to remote it into other computers, and it will take a screenshot of the last thing the computer was doing. There it was he was looking at chicks with dicks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that rhymes really well. <laughs> but why would chicks have dicks? Well, unless he was looking at trannies. Notified my supervisor which he notified his supervisor I was told to look the other way. I gave up. You want me to enforce policy on other users but not him? So I found a new job banquet. Someone once brought in a cooler to the repair shop. I was completely confused. Asked awkwardly if I could help the guy. Guy opens the cooler and hands me a freezing laptop that keyboard is literally bowed out because of the ice that formed in the motherboard. Apparently the guy spilled water all over his computer and his friend told him to put it in the freezer so it would turn into a solid. Dumbest thing I have ever experienced. Yeah, he was really dumb. One time a woman shipped her laptop to me to have it fixed from a satellite office. It just stopped working, she said. When I opened the box and took it out, a bunch of red wine leaked out of the case onto the floor. It's the worst thing that I've... Yeah, don't pour red wine into your computer. ...found, because I hate red wine. And that's it for this reaction. Well, 